In the settings section of your WebChat widget, you will be able to customize the language. If we take a look, a lot of languages are supported. If we press the widget preview, you will be able to see the changes that take effect. If I go through the different languages, you will be able to see which sections on the right hand side will take effect. So we will have the we are online section that will basically be auto translated as well as the footer. If we go back, you will be able to also set up a notification sound. And currently you have 21 different kinds of notification sounds and you can go through them yourself. And for each time a new message pops up, you will get this notification sound. You also have the features section. So inside the features section, you will be able to allow the user to pick an emoji. So if we go with the let's connect, you will be able to see that we have an emoji picker here. If we deselect this, you will see it previewed directly on the right hand side as well. If you want the user to upload attachments, you will be able to switch them on or off. As you can see, the paperclip will disappear or reappear upon your own preference. You'll also be able to allow users to end the chat and the end chat icon will basically be this one. You can also allow to pop up the chat window and as you can see it will be the last icon on the right hand side and if you do so it will pop up a chat window which is a little bit bigger and more convenient for the user to maybe type you will also be able to allow to continue the chat in mobile so a lot of times visitors of your website will come from a laptop or pc and this allows the users to scan a qr code once pressed and then move the chat towards mobile so this way they can just basically scan the code from the mobile and then continue the conversation there. Important step inside the settings section of your web chat widget will be to whitelist your domain. It is really, really important because otherwise the widget will not display onto your website. You only have to fill in your root domain. So if you have any subdomains, then those subdomains will automatically be recognized and the widget will be displayed there as well. In the next video, we're going over the appearance section of the web chat widget, where you can customize the styles, the fonts, the colors, and also the start button entirely.